hello students uh, in this lecture i will be teaching how to install ruby on rails and postgresql in ubuntu i am using ubuntu 14.04 the best way to learn uh, to install ruby on rails in ubuntu is go to go rails dot com slash setup here I will choose Ubuntu 14.04 and uh, this is it first they say that update so open terminal and update so sorry I copy this line and do paste and here I say sorry I entered the wrong password so let it update then we install some dependencies of the Ruby so we will be installing packages on which the Ruby depends so after that we install the Ruby now we paste the ruby dependencies after sudo add dash cat update has been done successfully then we install these dependencies and we say yes we want to install so when it's installed then we move on to installing ruby environment called rbenv through which we install normally so I am pausing the video and I will get back once this is installed. Dependencies have been installed. So now we will be installing Ruby ENV, the Ruby environment and the Ruby build. So for that, um, first CD and then clone this repository of Ruby. So copy this and paste in here and now clone the repository after cloning the repository we include the path of that repository in our bash rc file so we do that and we say bash rc then initializer of a ruby environment also in bash rc so we do and after that we have included the path then we execute the shell so that the path is installed in the system after that we do the same with ruby build we first clone the ruby build in our system and then we echo the path in bash rc and then execute the shell again so let it build <coughs> so now we send the new path and then we execute the shell again now we clone the gem called rehash that uh, rehashes the ruby environment whenever uh, we change in the environment we should do rehash so we clone that and after that we install ruby now and uh, for installing ruby we say rbenv install and the version i want 2.2.3 so i install that so it takes a while to get installed so i will see you when this gets installed now that the ruby has been installed you can see here install ruby 2.2.3 now we want this version to be the global version in the machine 
so for that ruby environment global should be 2.2.3 so if now we run ruby dash v then the ruby version is ruby 2.2.3 so we are good to go here and now we will run ruby gems as you know that the rails is also a gem of ruby so before installing any gem we will say here that any if we say about gem installing then do not install the installation documents or any other documents and we have saved this in the gem rc now we install the bundler the most important gem in ruby on rails as whenever we are running ruby on rails we use bundle install now when we said about the bundle install gem then its documentation will not be installed because we have stopped it and we say whenever we say about gem install do not install the documentation now we say to config the git so for that i do copy paste of uh, it's true now and now this will be my name and then so you can see that the go rails is very best website i am just copy pasting every code from Gores. Gores is very important website in case of screencast some confusion or any installation instruction so please do visit it so now i am trying to keygen Gores. so here i will be putting my keygen mm, i have deleted all so paste it again and I say yes I want to create in IDRSA no passphrase and then I do and I copy this SSH and then i can put it in my github so i don't need to enter my email address and password every time i can put this key into my github uh, and uh, whenever i push it or pull it i do not want to be provided the email and uh, the password so next i will be installing node.js that is important for rails in ubuntu so here i enter my password and now i install node.js it's just the debian dependency being shifted to node.js of set of four so after that once the node.js is being installed in ubuntu then we will install the rails so we have to wait a bit Now that the dependencies has been installed, we install the Node.js and uh, once it's installed then we will go to installing Rails. 
so see you in a minute when it's installed now that the node.js has been installed we now installed rails so i want the rails version 4.2.3 so i install it so once it's installed i will see you then now Rails has been successfully installed with all the other dependencies uh, like 30 gems installed. Now we want a uh, Ruby environment to know that we have installed a Rails so we do Ruby environment rehash and now what if we do Rails-V it's saying Rails to 4.2.3 Now the last thing is we want to install PostgreSQL so for that first we install the path of PostgreSQL in our source list so we do that by copying this line and then after that we copy that other line And after that we update our system so that we can get the sources once we get the sources then we will install postgresql cause the path to download the postgresql has been installed in our sources so <coughs> what uh, here i will first install the postgresql common so when the update is complete i will come back to talk about next uh, it's completed now so what we do is install postgresql common so and then we install postgresql and the developer library of postgres so we install that and it's being installed now and when this is installed then we will move on to the other steps so stay tuned now that the postgres has been installed we create the user in the postgres database so for that we copy this I change the name to my name then I want to put a password to my uh, name so for that I do password Salman and I enter a new password here And the password has changed so now I can do backslash Q to exit and now all the installations has been completed to check those installation I clear my terminal and go to desktop step is that we run rails new my app and now it installs different bundles uh, and the starter files so we talk back when all the files have been installed so stay tuned now that all the uh, starter files have been created and all the necessary gems have been installed then go to my app directory and run rails s now go to the repository and run localhost port 3000 if you are seeing this page that means your uh, environment has been set your rails version is 4.2.3 your ruby version is 2.2.3 so uh, it's running everything so we are good to go so thanks for uh, uh, this tutorial and uh, i will see you in the next tutorial bye